So right now we're talking about the Rode Pod Mic. This, this, it's this one right here. It is a cardioid dynamic podcasting microphone. It is a smaller mic, as you can see right in front of me, and it is, it sounds fantastic, <laughs> especially when you run it through the Rodecaster Pro production studio. So here it is, I've got it mounted on a little shock mount, but what's interesting about this mic is that you don't have to have it mounted in a shock mount because it's actually got a built-in internal shock mount to reduce vibration inside of the actual microphone itself. And also, you don't have to use the pop filter on it, it's actually got a pop filter inside of the microphone to help reduce pops all inside of the unit, which is really, really interesting. You're listening to the microphone right now, and as you can see, it is a dynamic mic. For those of you that don't know what dynamic mic means or why that's relevant, it means that it's going to eliminate room noise really effectively and only capture what's right in front of the mic. But your space may be an echoey room, or you may have background noise, or you may have other items that may get in the way of you having super high quality audio. For example, out this window, you can't see it right now, I have a freaking airport right there. I have a fan underneath my desk and I have my air conditioning, but you can't hear that. Why? Because this is a dynamic microphone, which means it only picks up audio right in front of it and sort of like a very narrow shotgun blast, if you will, right in front of it. So watch what happens. I'm speaking right into the microphone right now, and as soon as I turn my head up, as you can hear, the audio decreases significantly. And then as soon as I go straight in front of it, it turns up the volume, if you will, significantly. And then when I turn to the side, as you can see, the audio reduces significantly. And then when I come right in front of it, it gets really, really loud. And so why does that matter? That matters because whenever you're recording your podcast, whenever you're doing your live stream, Whenever you're doing your content, you only want people to hear super clean vocals, right? Let me just show you the actual mic. So it's gonna get a little ruffly. So I'm gonna take the, uh, the windscreen off. There we go. And so that's the way it sounds without the windscreen. So I added this uh, Rodecaster windscreen to the microphone, or the Rode windscreen. This is the uh, WS2 windscreen to the microphone. Uh, to add that extra pop filter protection. But as you can hear, I'm right in front of the mic and it doesn't have any plosives on the mic as you can hear. So take a look. Do you see how close I am to this microphone? Do you hear any pops? Do you hear any peas? Do you hear any boom, boom, boom in the microphone? You probably don't. And so the Rode pod mic is really good at eliminating plosives. So you can just plug this mic in, you can put it on a stand as you can see right here, and you aren't probably you probably aren't gonna get pops. It the audio is a little bit clearer, as you can probably hear without the windscreen on it. But I like adding the windscreen because I like uh, because I have a fan right below my desk and I like adding a little bit of uh, extra protection to the microphone. So that's a decision that you can make. But as you can see, the microphone itself has a super rugged construction. It's a super heavy microphone. Like it's a very, very heavy for the size. And if you look at it, it's got the little mount here on the bottom. I've got it mounted just into this random shock mount here. And then it's got these big hefty knobs on the side that allow you to adjust the angle that the microphone is at when you're talking into it, which is great. So the question is, do I recommend this microphone? I do. So if you are looking for an affordable dynamic microphone that is XLR input, this one is probably one of the best microphones out there for the money.